Welcome, welcome back to the game. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last time, we could fight. Well, that's actually not what we're here for today. Today, we're... Uh... What are we doing? Mr. Beowulf, I think. Bohemia is a massive region. Hi, Mr. Huntsman. God be with you. I have to wait a few hours anyway. Take care now. I think you have to do... Report... Okay, report to fail. I think you do have to wait till night, though, to do this part. Though Henry is looking a little tired and drunk. Yes, you can get drunk in this game, what a surprise. But the more you actually drink, it's actually a, uh, a thing for it. There's a its own level or levels for it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't know what I need to do now. Yes, it has to be nighttime, but. Wait. Wait. Get back here. No! Dang it, Bailiff. Thank you. My respects to you. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Hey, I got money for that too. We need money. Afternoon? That was night time. Quest completed. Keeping the peace. Um, pretty easy standard we get to do, but first thing we actually get full gear. Seriously? I just missed it. Okay. Well, the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab... found here and then what we'll do is no you can't start that quest until okay we'll grab the gear and then we're gonna go home and rest because we, we need to sleep I was told to pick up a kit here name Henry and in fealty to Sir Radzik Kobola. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? Yes. I mean equipment. 
It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. I mean, heck, to be fair, Henry doesn't need that much. And besides, it's going to increase our armor, which is what we definitely need. We're going to get rid of that. Alright. Hopefully I'll get Joel for that. Can I pass Joel from here? Okay, I know what I want to do. So we're going to fast travel to here. Hi, you're a nightingale. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget. I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. All right. This should be fun, Nightingale. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lypa, our masters. Mm. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? A what? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. Oh yeah, I know where he's at. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. No trouble, If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not? How did you come to be there? Hi, everybody. My name is Henry. I want to. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. I think you ought to leave the poor woman be. Why should I? Oh, because I told you to. Because I told you to. Do you think I was born yesterday, youngster? I know my rights, and if you don't drive her away, I will. With a whip! With Watch a whip. your step, Armourer. Raise a hand to that girl and you'll feel the full weight of the law. Ha! Think I'm afraid of you? Look at yourself, a ragged refugee. No one here will listen to you. I've lived here my whole life. I'm a respected trader, and I won't have beggars in front of my shop. As you wish, Amra. 
Can't you show us some Christian charity, Honor? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armorer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday. And my belly's empty again today. That's true. You know, I want to defend what my people. What would you know about it? Woo! Oh, I could have done that. We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and... And you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. You're as bad as each other. I wanted to fight. So I can steal his armor. Oh well. Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. Be merciful. And now our people aren't too happy I'll with him. Like you did, Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. I want to fight him. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it. First to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow. The same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. I mean, I do like Cape on. He's a good guy. No, he's not. Actually, I really... Well, the more you're around Cape on, the more you'll actually like him. Starting next mission. Because next mission is fun. We get to use the bow. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. I bet. But what do you want me to do, buddy? So, this game is a lot slower than I remember. I did play it a good bit of it previously. And it's fun when you... I mean, beginning's very slow. And then actually starting You've with... Also got the baker's shop here. And that mad merchant Wolfram Prude. Prude has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. I'll keep that in mind. Um, but once after this mission, things start to speed up, thankfully, and there is some role-playing missions Look and there's here. some. Fun. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Um, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanush saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right. I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. Not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Fair enough. There's one alehouse here on the market square. The trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Where are you going? That's what I the want to know. He's like... To the inner bailey. Okay. That's a dove coat, by the way. If you ever want to figure out that is. Or what a dove coat was in the previous uh, couple episodes ago. We'll eventually go at scallops. I don't know when, but eventually.
Really? Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble. He's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him probably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. He just stops those random places. Chicken? The Rade fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelkis. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sahanish's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. Beatles is hard. This That's tower was only at. half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. So you play Crusaders Kings, you'll understand feudalism easier that way. Hi, Adam. Well, look at this pile of crap. Bad jokes are bad. Lodge Nightingale. Be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to then? Uh, I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Are you talk to me or you talk to him? What are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Uh, Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Yeah. Not a word. No, Get moving. No you're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Well. Come and sit with wait. me, Henry. Let's have a drink. So we, we just yelled at him for doing this, and so we're going to do it. Game logic. Got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly. And just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, right since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Sounds good, what we play. Why not? We'll see whose side Lady Luck is on. That's right. Okay. I remember this game. Coming. 
So you want ones and fives, or double or triples? Well, that sucks. Not a good start. This will be the one. Ones are worth a hundred. Fives are worth fifty. Wow. Mm. Okay. That's it. You're getting greedy, buddy. Of course you're not. He's gonna start the game getting half the points he needs. I'll just take half the points too, because we got a lot of triple ones. As long as he doesn't get that, we'll be okay. We'll see. Okay. Mm. Bust. Okay, you mm. are super lucky. <laughs> oh, Alright. Come on, triple one for the win. Ooh. Okay. We'll, go, we'll get greedy for a second. And that's game. Damn. That game is so luck based, it's not even funny. And now it is night time. In the fifth dub. Oh no! Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate, we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Sounds easy Before enough. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. It's left. Yes. Well, let's go ring a bell. I'll never forget. They have a lot of beggars here in this little fiefdom. It's worse than my hometown. They say you can't walk while I'm running. It's not like I can be a bad boy anyway, because my character can't pick a freaking lock. We won't talk about that, though. Run! It's such a long run! Look all the way this way to ring the bell. And then we run all the way back. This game is so redundant at times. I can't wait to start killing people. Become the master of war that we know Henry is capable of being. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is, like, what? We sort of, we fight somebody we sh really shouldn't? Any idea who we could do that to? And the cannon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> no, 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 we can, we, can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off, to look for the good cannon on his pig. Stay <laughs> <laughs> to find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. 
birds of a feather stick together. <laughs> it seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> <laughs> a toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save them, bacon. Mm. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need oh, to... But what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What, is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. Oh! This yokel needs to be taught his place. You're over too, man. You don't want to fight me. Uh, he really wants to go over three. Let him have it, Sir Hans. Oh my god. Teach that insolent pop a left. Show him no quarter. Show him no quarter. Over three. Crucifix. What in the name of Christ is happening here? Hell? Answer me, damn you. This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog. That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners will ask me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting. Well then, your grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Right. Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learn how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. I like him. He's one of my favorite characters in the game. Now you're probably wondering when the heck do we get to deal with going hunting? Well, dang it, is uh. We're gonna get rid of these quests for now. But meet Lord Capon at dawn near the upper castle. And the upper castle. What are you doing creeping around like a foot Sorry. I don't have to move the torch one. We're gonna go hunting. So next time on What are we playing? Can you come to deliverance? I forgot the name of the game again. We will be hunting. I'll see you then.